we've seen all kinds of weather for Black Gold Festival through the years. Some years it feels more fall-like. This year it sounds like it's going to be a lot more summer-like. It's going to feel like it's July or August <laughs> yeah. for Black Gold, but the good news is it's got great entertainment, great family fun, and we'll be out there on Friday. Mm -hmm. So come by and say hello, survive the heat with us. Now, mm -hmm. take a look at the station cam. It's a shame that Black Gold's not going on with a beautiful view like this. They're preparing for it as it kicks off tomorrow. Clear skies across the hazard there, as you can see off in the distance. Now, take a look at Pinpoint Doppler, and you'll see a clean sweep across our region. We've looked at showers and storms in south eastern Kentucky and also two areas of north as a cold front really starts to work its way down to the southeast. But as it does so, this starts to weaken out. You'll notice a low pressure system right here. This is Tropical Storm Julia moving in through uh, South Carolina. Charleston already did three to four inches of rain with that system, and that's going to be staying near their area. Now, temperatures right now 87 degrees in Jackson, 84 in Louisville. And you take a look at today's Mountain Almanac and high temperature of 88 degrees. No rainfall once again. Another dry one when we're supposed to be average temperatures into the upper 70s. Now temperatures across eastern Kentucky now falling down into the mid 80s. They'll continue to fall tonight into the 60s. And you'll notice your hometown spotlight is located in Estill County. You'll look at Winston, Kentucky, 87 degrees. The winds are calm and the dew point at 57. Like I said, though, those temperatures decreasing tonight. Patchy fog for us as we really look into the valley areas. A nice night for you. But then we head into tomorrow, which really not a bad day for the start of the Black Gold Festival. 84 degrees on Thursday. That cold front, as we talked about, really weakening out. And you'll see for Thursday, partly cloudy skies and really not a bad one. But as we head into Thursday evening overnight into your Friday, that warm front will be pushing through the region. That's going to provide the warm air and with it eventually will be rain chances as a cold front moves through for that weekend. Cooler air will be filtering in with high pressure. So as we work our way into next week, we will be cooler and dry as we head into Monday and Tuesday. Unfortunately, we have to pay with that. The rain chances at 50%, as you can see on Sunday, 40% for the final day of black gold. But most of that should be into the evening and overnight hours for your Saturday. But Steve, I take a look at that temperature, 87 degrees on Friday. Mm -hmm. We are going to be roasting out there. We are, but I know you're looking forward to your first black gold. I can't wait. It's going to be And my 30 something. <laughs> I don't know. Next in sports, we'll name our players of the week. And EKU coach Mark Elder is not happy with how the Colonels are playing three weeks into the season.